Beamer and Sun Garage got all these cars moved out now so they can finish their tree trimming. We moved out the uh, Omega, the Toyota, the Skylark Custom. We moved the Grand Prix out, or the Grand Prix, the, uh, the Catalina out. I'm calling it the Grand Prix. It's not. It's a, it looks just like a Grand Prix. We moved the four-door, the, the quad cab Skylark out. So they're all moved out. Looks like we got a car show going on here. Looks like a car show. No trespassing. They didn't. They don't speak no English. <laughs> Three Mexicans. They say they don't speak no English, but they understood me a little bit. So we got all the cars all spread out, moved around. It's a good thing, I guess. I was a little bit mad on the last video, and I apologize to all my subscribers and my watchers and viewers. And uh, oh, I was mad. And when I'm mad, I turn deadly. <laughs> I get really, really upset very easily, as you guys probably seen that. So, like I said, I apologize to all my viewers out there for me just going off, flat out venting. So I got all the keys back in here. I moved all them cars. Moved the Catalina out of there. Moved those cars there. You can see the tall grass. Now I got grass to cut. And now they can get back out to uh, cleaning the uh, their mess up and doing some more butchery in my trees. So now they'll be able to clean that up. And there's a mess there. So there's going to be, you know, sawdust all over my place. That's fine. I'm okay with it. I really am at this point. I mean, I don't really have a choice. It's Duke Energy, which is the power company, hired these people to do their job. And there's nothing I can do to stop them, really. I stopped them for a moment. Then their super rider came out. And I could still, I could still be a, a total dickhead if I wanted to be, but... You know, I, I'm trying to work with these people and, you know, get the job done and get them out of my hair so I can go on about my business. But it makes great video. <laughs> it did make some great video, guys. So, I did bring up one thing. I'm missing a battery. And so I'm kind of in hunt of this one battery I'm looking for. I don't know where it's at. I'm kind of in hunt for one. I'm looking for the battery. What's in that? It's 97. I'm missing a yellow top battery. And I don't know where it's at. And maybe it's in the 97. Or it could be in that old van over there. That we brought in. I don't know. But we found that this had a dead battery. So we put it on charge. Trickle charge. Charging it up. Last time you guys remember the red Grand Prix was dead. And now this one was dead, so we jumped it with our little jump pack. We got it all charged and a little trickle charger. But we're in a search of a yellow top battery. Because of all this, I uh, realized I'm missing a battery. So I'm hoping I can find it. I don't know if it's in this car. I'm hoping it's in this car. I don't know. Actually, I hope it's not in this car, because if it is, uh, then I'm missing a battery that came in this car. But I'm, I'm short of battery. So let's see if we can't find our missing battery. Definitely not in any of the cars that I've looked at. Not on that one either. So all I can hope is it's in the uh, 
and the red van across the, uh, the way. Let's go see if I can even get across my bridge because they got it blocked. I do got a, a walking bridge. And I've looked at all these cars that I got pulled out. And even in the rollback where I kept it at, it's not there. So I don't think I can get through. Let's see if I can. <laughs> it's a jungle. That's another jungle. This time it's uh, swinging from trees. Well, it could be swinging from them trees. That one there, they just just brutalized it. They murdered it. So, I don't know what happened to that battery. I'm praying it's in this red van out here that we bought uh, to uh, take the motor out and put it in my son's pickup right here. So we're going to pull the motor out of that red one and put it in there, same engine. Six cylinder Ford. So, oh, wow, it could be in that van there. It very well could be. Huh. And if it's not in here, then it's in that van. Yeah, that's probably where I left it at. I was in that van there. It's either here or there. Not there. It's got to be there. It's not like me to leave a battery in one. It's very unusual. But I bet it's locked. If I know me. Yeah, it's locked. And the hood slammed down. So. Yeah. So I'll have to look for the key for that one. And back up and punt. I'm going in the house, guys. I've been out here moving cars. And I'm out of breath. And oh, God. Can I even get through there? Oh, it's a jungle, guys. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. So check out our friend's Axis Auto Parts, Jamie Phillips. Jamie, I appreciate your comment on my dog. Check out my friend Axis Auto Parts for all your used cars and truck parts and rims and tires and anything else you might need. Check him out. He'll pull the part. He'll ship it to you. He's got four Dodge Chevy. He's got foreign cars. He's got late model, old stuff. Check him out. Axis Auto Parts. Also, Scott Speed Shop, Jedediah, and his barely Cuda, barely a Cuda. Which I'm jealous as hell, Jed. You got that car. I want one. So, also Auto Salvage Outlaws. We'll see you in the next Beamer and Sun Garage. Hope I find that yellow top battery. Bye bye, everybody.